In this demo, we'll demo how to install the Roopwise Ascot Windows Client via Media Install. So here I've got a Windows 7 workstation. We've got the media installed into our DV drive, so now we're ready to start the installation. I'm going to go to the Start computer and go to our Ascot Beta DVD. We get the installation for the language selection, so we'll say OK on English. Again, notice the branding change. This will bring up the install edition wizard for the GroupWise components. What we need to do is go to the install more components, and down here it allows us to install the GroupWise web access, GroupWise monitor, GroupWise calendar publishing, and the Windows client. So let's click on more components, install GroupWise client. And again, now we get the language for the dialog boxes. We'll say English. Wait while the setup loads. Notice the new branding for the GroupWise client, the new icon, and the new coloring. While we wait for it to load, now it's ready to go. We'll select Next to start the installation. We have the choice of a typical or a custom. Typical install, install the GroupWise client, create a folder for the program group, and create icons on the desktop and on the quick launch bar. Installing the default uh, application. If we go to Custom, that actually lets us choose those and this is, this is what is would uh, allow us to do. We could select which language, if we had the multi-language client, we can also <coughs> select the integrations for the Office, Open Office uh, applications, and we have the Internet Browser Mail integration, so we can turn on or off any of these items that we want. We'll just uh, stick with the default, which is next, so that would be the same as doing typical. Again, the program folder and the uh, adding of the icons to the desktop and the quick launch bar. Again, these would be uh, done automatically if the typical install was selected. Next, and now we're ready for the install, which will take a few moments. It'll install all the components necessary, the MAPI Windows client, uh, West Engine client, and any other necessities that we need. So click Install and let this run. It'll take approximately a, a minute or two for the install to happen. While this is happening, it's a good time to go and read the README file. Okay, now it's waiting for the versioning. We'll see the file copying start in a moment. And once we get about 75% of the way through the file copying, we will see the um, icon place on the desktop as well as on the uh, quick launch bar. There's our icon. And that's the new icon. We'll wait for it to terminate. And once it's done, we'll select the finish and we'll uh, change the configuration before we launch the client. Once I'm done with that, I can close the installation wizard and also close down my computer. Now that it's installed on the desktop, we're going to modify the icon to show us the properties and so that we could ask us which user we want to be every time we log in. So the login dialog box would appear every time. So adding the slash at u dash question mark to the target. Select OK. Launch it. Now it gives us the dialog box. I'll enter my credentials, password, make sure we get that right. Really make sure we get it right. There we go. And the server's address 172.17.6.23. And select OK. And we log in with the client. You notice that the not a whole bunch of changes from the first impression and the first look, but if we go and take a look, we go to help about group wise, we will notice that we've got the new um, 
branding with our program release and our build number so we know we're running the right version. I'll close this down. We're ready to send mail. We'll just use the address book. We'll select all of our users from the address book plus the one user selected two. And we'll just initially welcome to groupwise. Scott. And we'll just have welcome. And we'll send that. And if we look at our sent items, we'll see that we have email that are located there. We'll close it down. And this concludes the groupwise ascot client install via media installation.